What's up everybody? In today's video, I will be showing you how to strip the sheathing off Romex wire, specifically uh, for number 12 and 14s. I'll be showing. Uh, the first method is with a razor knife. You just run it down the middle lightly, and then uh, take the sheathing off. You want to be going down the middle because that's where the ground is located, and uh, that's a bare wire, so you don't have to be worried too much that you're gonna nick it like the the black or white wires and uh, yeah you just run it down the middle lightly toward the end you could dig in a little harder because you'll anyways you know be cutting that off usually and then uh, just cut it off with the you know your dikes or whatever you're using and uh, I don't use this method that much in boxes but I'll definitely use this for service wires or thicker Romex, uh, you know, for number 8 Romex or number 6, maybe sometimes for number 10. But uh, the, other, the other two methods I would say I use more often, but, you know, everyone's got their own preferences. So the second way is to just, you know, cut the end of it, you know, cut it with something and, uh, you know, just pull, pull the sheathing back till you get to where you got to get to and cut it off. Uh, you, you could really use anything to cut the end. Uh, this is, uh, I, I use this method a lot. You, you know, you could use a, a knife, you could use pliers, you could use, you know, anything. And just pull it back. Right now, uh, it went back pretty easy. Uh, this is on a, not, not such a hot day, but, you know, not, not freezing cold. Uh, you know the it's plastic so it'll behave differently in different temperatures the third way is with Romex strippers not, not everyone's gonna have one of these uh, right when you're starting out but if you have one of these it could make your life a lot easier uh, it's usually easier to do it be using this method uh, before you put the wires in the box uh, I use this method a lot for wiring spotlights makes things a lot simpler uh, one thing you got to be careful with this is you know just like with the razor knife you don't want to be going through through the conductors with this you don't want to be pressing too tightly like you don't even want to be going through the paper like you see right there you want to just nick the plastic and when you pull it apart it, it pulls apart very easily after that you just you know get, get your wires in the box uh, sometimes it might be easier when doing a, a Newark box like this to leave the last staple that you're going to use unstapled, which I didn't do in this case, but it may make your life easier sometimes. And then, and then put the wires in the box and after staple on your last staple. Uh, and then once you get your wires in the box, real easy, you just pull it right off and that's it right there. Alright, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. See you next time.